What's going on, everyone? Today, we are going to be playing a classic from Sierra, the, the early typey salad days of Sierra games. This is 1989, 1990s, Conquest of Camelot, the search for the grail or the holy grail, depending on who you ask. And um, yeah, let's see the intro. Let's get started here. Doing this live as part of Toss Back Tuesday. By the way, this was a request, and you can request games, classic games you would like to see me play by heading over right now to Let's Play with Breakins.com, and you'll see it right over there on the right side of the screen. And you can just suggest a game for me to play. Tuesdays, 8 o'clock, right here on Let's Play with Breakins YouTube. It's a beautiful thing. Let's see the intro. Search for the Grail. What did I say? My lord, king, look upon your stronghold, Camelot. You don't mind the voice, right? By strength of spirit, skill of sword, and quickness of mind, you have built a kingdom that could live in legends. Beneath your firm and wise hand, the warring tribes of Zaltzatans, Jutes, and Angles have been brought under control and foreign marauders driven from the shores. The Jutes? Did I say that about the Jutes? I don't know that one. I'm familiar with all the others. Good thing is we took care of them all. Your queen is a beautiful Guinevere, who I kind of have a thing for, who loves you and whom you love dearly. Yet you know that her deepest and most passionate love is reserved for your greatest knight, Sir Lancelot. Yeah, that's that was always awkward when I learned about the uh, all the uh, Camelot poems and stories when I was in school. Because he's chivalrous, nothing to bring harm to him in your queen. Instead, you suffer in silence. That's rough. That is like the ultimate friend, man. You're just like, look, you're a better guy than me. Have my wife. I'll just kind of hang out in the background. Sharing the round table with your noble warriors. Sorry, you are your noble warrior. Lancelot, Kai, Hector, Gareth, Percival, Gawain, Galahad, and many others who weren't nearly as popular or noteworthy. Might tweak that mix just a little bit. Who the heck is that guy? That guy must be new. Oh, Merlin, right. And I, I am Merlin, advisor, mentor, and, as some would have it, wizard, through my true nature remains. Secret known to the ancient gods and me. It's good that he knows his secret. That'd be weird if just the ancient gods knew his secret. I must speak to you now of dark truths. The forbidden love of Guinevere and Lancelot has cast a blight upon your soul, and in doing so, has put a curse upon your kingdom. Damn. Makes sense. He's bummed. Because his best friend's going around his back, laying with his lady. The fruit is withered on the vine, grain dies of disease, while springs and wells turn foul, and your people cry out to you for a miracle. <laughs> and the miracle is just like, quit banging my wife. <laughs> and people can eat again. It's like, how horny are you, Lancelot? Am I missing the point? That looks pretty rough, though. I mean a miracle. Enter. Uh, this magic trick? What is this? It's like a handkerchief. We're going to reveal it. And gonna... A vision of the Holy Grail covered in a white cloth appeared to you in your time of... Uh, okay. It's like I thought I was dialed in on the speed of the text and then it just... I always kind of like Galahad back in school. I mean, not like that, but... <laughs> Gawain, Lancelot, and Galahad have not returned. The search must now fall to you, and during this search, you will be sorely tested in physical, moral, and spiritual strength. For this game is indeed a typey. Yeah, this game is a typey, but I think it's the kind that waits for you, which is nice. If you are found wanting in any of these virtues, the grail will be denied to you, and your kingdom will turn to ashes and dust. Really? I mean, with Lancelot out of the kingdom, you'd think Arthur would be kind of pumped again. And the kingdom could get right again? I will watch over you and speak to you, though I will be only with you in spirit, not body. 
He's like, I might, I, personally, I hate typees. I want nothing to do with them. I think the sequel, the sort of the unofficial sequel to this game, which has nothing to do with the Holy Grail or King Arthur, it's about Robin Hood, I think, is more of a, like a point and click kind of thing. But, uh, I digress. Stretching for time right now, because all of a sudden Merlin slowed down. Save often and save early, Arthur. <laughs> That's his advice. Tis the floor plan of your stronghold, Camelot. Waste no time in preparing for your vital mission, my lord. Okay. There's nothing of import to you here. And urgent matters await you elsewhere, like over... Alright, speaking of saving often and early. Let's do that. Artie. What else we got? Show our score. Interesting. Skill points, wisdom points, and soul points. Okay. We'll see how those kind of get reflected. And that adds up to a 999, I'm assuming. Don't ask me about the math. We ask Merlin, is he like on call? Ask about. Ask Merlin. Can't type anything yet. Just getting a feel. It's been a while since I played this. Arcade difficulty. Uh, easy? Set the speed here. Let's go fast. Volume is good. Repeat. Oh, uh, right, right. Yeah, I heard line of command there. All right, Artie. Get ye flask. Get ye flask. All right, as I said, we're doing this live, so people can... Tell me, point me in the right direction if I'm flailing. Chapel of the Two Gods. Courtyard. Soldiers Barracks. Nothing. Treasury. Oh, got something in the treasury. Whoa. I guess I wouldn't wear a shirt if I looked like that, too. Sup? Definitely getting, like, a uh, Quest for Glory 2 kind of vibe, like, color-wise. Just what they had, animation and everything. Right-clicking gives you a little description and everything. And let's see. Talk to man. My king, if you see my advice, I say this. Take with you coins of all three value, copper, silver, and gold. So I should be able to take, like, everything, right? Take gold. Purse? Guess, do we not have a... don't think we have the purse here. That might, I think that's in my quarters. we got to get that first. Oh, my beard matches the floorboards. Didn't have a whole lot of browns back then. The ladies' tower. You have no business there at the moment whatsoever. All right, hold on. Maybe you don't, but... My own room. All right, nice. All right, let's even grab my purse. Get purse. Heck yeah. How many, uh, was that soul points right there when I picked up my purse? <laughs> skill points, right. Does take skill to pick up a purse. Get sword. Before you strap on your sword, you gotta be wearing your male tunic. All right. Wear clothes. How wise of you. He's bashful, King Arthur. Ooh, purple. Yellow. No time for a nap. Every second you delay your people suffer. No pressure. Just to guilt you. Stab! A mysterious request. <laughs> Actually, you kind of get like a King's Quest Four feel too. I think this is definitely the era. It's definitely like a Quest for Glory 2, King's Quest 4 kind of time. Alright, Darty. Go get go get you some coins. Back at the treasury. Get gold. Purse to fill. Give purse. Damn right. Get 
copper. Copper coins, my lord. He just like grabbed, it's like a candy scoop. If you go to like a Dylan's or whatever, I don't know. What's your local candy shop called? The Candy Bean? Is that a place? I feel like just throwing out like kind of random generic candy sounding business names. You know, your local candy store because it's 1963 and we're all Charlie Bucket apparently. Um, sorry, let's get silver. <laughs> might, might he be needing some sprinkles on this journey? Oh, uh, now I can see. Yeah, they're, they're very clearly three barrels. Man, we're doing all right as a castle. Might come up with a better security system for storing our gold. A safe of some kind, yield safe. Just three hulking barrels of gold, silver, <laughs> gold. <laughs> Hell yeah! All right. What? Check purse. <laughs> that is the most complicated thing I could have asked or requested. Get purse. Uh, I'm not going to fall for that again. The bare-chested man said to me, <laughs> You must come closer, my lord. All right, what is this? Uh, TD gift wrapping here? What is this box? Look at box. Oh, hell yeah. Get goblet. Do we have the grail here? How great would that be if we just kind of had it on a shelf somewhere? Like, oh, look, we found it. Man, I guess those other knights died for nothing, huh? Party time. That sort of thing. <sighs> Give the ring to Pippin? What? Do I have a ring? Look at ring. I see nothing that is significant to your mission. Well, what am I even doing then? <laughs> Why are people watching this? I feel like I look, look like Barry Gibb or something. I definitely look like one of the Bee Gees with that beard. Or someone that worked at Chip and Dale's in the late 80s. Anyway. What else we got going on? I feel like I should go square to square here. Oh. Is she here right now? Ooh. It's Guinevere, the most beautiful woman in the land. And I'm Arthur, not the most handsome man. It's Lancelot. But as far as we know, he's dead. Yo, word yo sounds familiar, yet I cannot fathom your purpose in it. Rose. Wear it next, next to your heart. In time of need, it will guide you through danger if you recite the message of the rose. Will it? I think you should have it. Give Rose. You didn't give me it. I went and picked it up myself. Hmm. It's like a note recorder. Ye old note recorder, I guess. The bonus of love. Kiss wife. Because I'm not going to try to spell her name. Nice. All right. She's like, you're no Lancelot. And I'm like, I know. Okay. Um... Ask about Grail. Yeah, I didn't think so. Ask about Wizard. What do you know? Ask about Merlin? Ask about Lance? Alright. Uh, ask about Rose. Wear Rose. She was being... <laughs> Alright, I don't know. Fine, make me look like an ass in front of all my viewers. I took it literally. What is this? Is that a... Guess that's it, right? Ask about... How do you spell his name? Lancelot? We are just good friends. What do you take me for? Really? Is that what you call it? See him. Oh, talk to him. Is that what you call it? 
Man. Lancelot's slamming ass over the plate. Lady of the Lake now? The watery tart. Wow, I was just joking. <laughs> You're clearly not jealous. Alright. Guess that's it. Yeah, can I just spell like that? I thought they wanted it with a... I kept seeing it with a U. Ask about Lancelot. Okay. Good to know I can spell it. The watery tart. <laughs> Gotta remember that one. Anytime someone crosses me, you watery tart. They're like, what? Sorry. On the way around the castle. Chapel. Anything to do with the chapel before we peel out? I feel like we should pray, right? Is there a difference in these symbols? <laughs> Get up. Pray. Ah, so we kneel and then pray. Earthly gift. Give copper? Are they like, you cheap bastard? Whoa, no, 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 no. Hold on, no. I... Whoa. <laughs> How do we go backwards? No, no thank you. I mean, you know, pious and all, but... Give charity. Pay. I don't know, what do you give, like, one... What's the going rate for a blessing? One gold coin? Why would you want to do that? <laughs> All right. Very, uh, very cutthroat there. That's, that's fair. Um, because it gave me the choice? Pay. I don't understand. Why would you want to do that? Get up. Leave charity. Give a piece of gold to each. Give gold. Oh my god, it wouldn't let me though. Kneel. Pray. Pay. One gold. A fool in his money. Sure. Let's check the purse. Wow, fancy. It's purple. All right, get up, kneel. Uh, I right. give one gold coin. Or is it like this is how much I'm giving? Ah, uh, okay. It thought I wanted to give everything I had. What a stupid system. Holy, a vision of the grail appears to you. Christ sends it to remind you that only a man of purity may attain the sacred cup. Nice. Remember the fate of Camelot rests not only upon your finding the grail, but your worthiness to possess it. Right. Just gotta remember everything that I saw in The Last Crusade. It was a great ending, wasn't it? This is the cup of a carpenter, Harrison said. All right, kneel, pay. Okay. They just know the going state now. What? I... What just... Uh, did I give everything? I t <laughs> How does this work? I seem to have no money now. What the? All right, new save state. Already two. 
broke as a joke. You, you think I'd just go back to the treasury and get more money. But gold coin. But wait, there's more. Save me, most valiant king. I am injured unto the death by black fiends. The green leaves will cover my bones unless you are quick. Gawain! I like Gawain. I cannot move, I can't scan. It's so cold, dear be cold. How could you be so heartless? Eh, I'll get to you when I have time, Lancelot. You're, you're kind of on the back burner, quite honestly. Galahad, I am lost in the darkness, hidden from light and life. With only the rats to lust for my flesh and blood, I will die here unless you help me, my king. So you guys all screwed up? You're supposed to be my greatest knights. Gotta do this myself. Alright. Uh, let's go back to the treasury. <laughs> Try to explain how I blew all of my money. Get gold. Heck yeah. Alright, we're all good. I'm sure it all just kind of goes in a circle anyway. All comes back to me. Alright, give me that purse, bro. Okay. Nice. It's good to be king. Anything else? Nothing important matters here. Nothing I need. I went to the chapel. Ladies' Tower. Alright, I guess we're good to go, right? Let's find that grail. Let's see, what should we take today? Hmm. The donkey, the mule, or... Ooh, look at this shining horse. Looks like they just finished waxing it. It's one hell of a horse wax job. Already three. Mount. It's trained to be... Is it like going to start freaking out if I mount it from the right? What about this? I bet the mule doesn't care. Probably won't even let me. They're like, mule's like... I'd probably make that mule's life if I mounted him. I mean, not like... Alright, that sounded weird, but I'm just saying. It's probably not used to the king giving it... Uh, there we go. Now we're on a horse. All right. Ride. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, how about that sound effect, everybody? Getting your money's worth on this one. You can't take your horse in the castle. So sad. All right. I got to find Merlin before I leave. Oh, all right. Hold on. Thank you. That's why. Why is that mule following me? Get down. Why was the donkey coming after me? Is it a mule? I guess it's like a... I don't know. Get... Dismount. From the right. That's how I learned. That just like for holding my stuff, that donkey? Alright, where's Merlin hiding? Gotta go to each... Spot. No, it's Guinevere. Is he like in this backpack area? Okay. Is that is that your way of saying this is where I'll find you? There he is. Alright, thank you. Monty Python. All right, talk to Merlin. Search for the Grail will be long and difficult. I need to give him the Merlin voice. I gave him just kind of a generic, ye old English voice before. I gotta give him the old wizardly voice. 
Though I will not physically travel with you, my spirit will be with you to guide and advise am I, as I am able. You can access me via the menu at the top right section of your... Choose carefully where your search will take you. For once you leave Camelot, you may not return. What do you got here? Is that a map? It is attached to my wall. Oh, okay. Talk to Merlin. Is that it? He's got nothing specific to say. Is he gonna give me the map? It is a map of the Summerlands. As your kingdom is often known, Cornwall to the west, and some lands beyond, including the island of Aya, and that brand new Disneyland which just opened up. However, you should study it very closely before you leave and determine where your search for the Grail should take you. Fair enough. Can I, like, right-click it? There we go. With arrows to move or select with mouse. Use arrows to move or select with mouse. Southampton. Legend goes to Sir Beavis. A oh, hero long ago killed the evil giant ask apart. <laughs> he said ass. Interesting. Motus Stone. All right. Does any of this matter? St. Leonard's Forest. Fertile Hunting Lands. I don't think we're going to all these places. Britannia, Australis, 18 or 800 AD. Exeter, Heartland Point, Disneyland, Glastonbury Tour. I always wanted to go to Glastonbury. Not ye old, modern Glastonbury for their music festival. You are here, as you surely know. Hal Stock, Swoman, wait, what was that? No, it doesn't matter. Shime. All right. That was interesting. What else you got? You have a sword too? Oh, man, I wish I had Merlin on every screen in this game. Maybe I do. A lodestone. Uh, do not touch anything else. I give you your job. I give you this room. I can do touch whatever I want. Well, that sounded wrong, but uh, get lodestone. Open chest. How about that? True North lies. This one is shaped like a tiny sword which will point north as it dangles from a string attached to its center. Cool. Take it, Arthur. I prepared it especially for you. So do I have Excalibur? Oh, sorry. He thinks I'm talking about. All right, so we take the lodestone. Cool. Yeah, it's a compass, but it's shaped like a sweet sword. All right. Thanks. Bye. I mean, bye. Say rather Godspeed, for I should be with you in spirit. All right. Is that good? Did I get everything? Read the scroll on the desk. Dissertation, the value of mules. Is that it? Did I? It's about like a mule that is sure of foot and gentle nature is above all, all the golden treasures. I don't know about that. It sounds a bit exaggerated, but that's the gist of it. All right. I must have all kinds of points now. I'm reading scrolls about mules and <sighs> mounting my animals. 
No soul point. I got no soul. The hell? I think I got it right with that translation. Already five. Okay. Take the long way, why don't you, Arthur? Artie. Well trained stallion bred to be steady in danger and battle. But not dangerous battles. And not calm times. And not unbattle related. Peaceful time. What am I saying? Mount. It's red. Coming, mule? I'm coming. Oh, I'm coming. It's Eeyore all of a sudden. All right. It's not, not typical that I get to, uh, I get my own horse in one of these games. All right. So just like Southampton, Winchester, Glastonbury. Glastonbury? Heck yeah. Whoa! Wittishins! Capital 10! Capital 10! Capital 10 for Wittishins! I am not sure, but that is my toll! Capital 10 for Wittishins! I'm feeling pretty good about my chances of winning a Let's Play Oscar for my Wittishins accent. Um, how about I pay you an Excalibur through your nose? Let's see if we do have Excalibur. Oh, yeah. And the lady in the lake, by her blessings, may it serve you well. Heck yeah. That thing is ugly. <laughs> uh, give copper? Alright. Just one. Thanks, Wittershins. Where'd you just go? <laughs> Sounds familiar. What's the very torn the horse name so because the main danger is hidden within. It's clearing Yeah. Look at shrine. Bronze statue of Celtic God Kernanos. Stone housing. Pray to shrine. This is not the ta chapel of the two gods. What do you think you're doing here? Whatever gods listening will hear your prayers. All right. Fair enough. Is that that's just a shadow or something? I guess that's all that is. All right. Too thick to go this way. Are they? Let's chop it up with Excalibur. All right, I'm coming. Greetings, King Arthur. Oh, how do you know my name? I guess my face is on all the currency in the land. Hey. Talk to you, man. I am but a poor man, my lord. But perhaps in some small way I may be of service to you. I just a hard life in the forest to earn a few thin coins to feed my family. You complaining? Are you asking for a handout? What are you, what's your game, Hunter? Give copper. I'll give you some money. All right, I did it right this time. That's nice. I didn't give away all of my money. Have a co have a copper coin, just cause. Remember to vote in November. <laughs> the next king election. The Mad Monk of Glastonbury. Sounds scary. Makes me think of a uh, Quest for Glory Four, the Mad Monk's diary and everything. All right. Thanks. What's up with that monk? Sire, a strange monk has taken up residence in the ruins atop Glastonbury Tor. He is surrounded by the ba I think this guy's voice changed. I apologize. With a sorceress, barrier, and stones that speak. You don't say. Ask about stuff. Is there anything else? Gawain, huh? 
ask about Grail. Dead solid. Oh, that's a pretty good explanation. Ask about Gawain. The goodly knight came this way and rode in the forest. Yeah, foozle. There you go. <laughs> okay. Ask about Black Knight that he went toe to toe with. What challenge? Ask about challenge. Oh, Merlin. Should we check in with Merlin? Control T. Ask Merlin about Black Knight. <laughs> okay. I mean, that that's actually a pretty good explanation. He's telling me to ask the hunter about it. Um, and I think that was it. Is that all the hunter's going to give me? All right. Fair enough. As I get compulsive with these saves. But you know what? You can never... Three spears. Interesting. Ask about spears. This boar spear once belonged to the Black Knight. Enchantment on, so it belongs to the forest and cannot be taken from here. Interesting. Ask about tan. Ask about hides. Sweet. Take pelt. Ugh. Really? Uh. Take spear. I feel like I should be buying some of this stuff. All right. Buy spear. All right. Give coin. One gold coin. There we go. There's no bartering, unfortunately. No bargaining or bartering. I don't know what I would give him at this point anyway, I guess. Staff of this boar spear is made of the sacred oak and the spearhead forged by the Black Knight himself. Nice. All right. Well, now we're definitely going to be running into a boar, so <laughs> that's just how these games work. Um, ask about wares. That's always a good line of kill, man. <laughs> how have I not? Yeah. How did I not come to that first myself? Kill, man. <laughs> if you are angry for some reason, look to your own faults and remember that a king must set an example by his behavior. <laughs> like, just start stabbing the guy in the face. Like, frickin' Lancelot. Stooping my wife. All right. Oh, yeah. I don't think I'd win a soul dancing contest because I am still... Oh, three soul points. I still think I would lose, though. I think most folks in the kingdom have more soul than me. Lancelot's probably got 359. That's why Guinevere's into him and all that. Can't falter. By Pelt. Oh, heck yeah. Sweet. Oh, wait. Deliver them to Camelot? That's interesting. All right. Guess I don't need that. It's like, who is he to know what I'm going to need immediately on my adventure? He's like, eh, the pelts I don't think you're going to need right away. Something tells me you're going to need that boar spear, though, already. Apparently. As I'm just saving like a maniac at some point. <laughs> Set bad example. <laughs> it does sound familiar because you literally just said it to me. All right. My mule is bolt. What the H? What? What the hell happened to my mule? What's that about? Calm mule. Feed mule. Why is the mule so... I tried mounting him. I gave him some love. You're an important part of this team, mule. Well, here, let me rub up against you with the horse. See? You deserve to be here. You're here for a reason. You're at least the third most important member of this three-person party. What the hell? Son of a... Is it okay that that... That, uh... 
Spacebar uses the spear. Use spear. I guess it's when I do need it. Is there a reason that the... I just paid you! I literally just paid you. you the worst... short-term memory. I got no ass. Oh my gosh. At my purse? Oh, this place sucks. This is part of my ca- this is so close to my castle. Why don't I have a better... Man. Seems like it's kind of uh, predetermined that that mule was going to run off. Seems like when you get to the left side of the screen, it just is going to bolt no matter what. Ty mule. There is no need. Really? It's funny you say that because three, two, one, yeah. Yeah, Merlin. Who's the ass now? <laughs> that one's for free. Um, just looks like a giant pile of sugar like Homer had in that one episode. Well, the bee scene, be leaving. Is that a rock? Look, rock. There's much good stone in the forest. That's right. If these are merry times, some stones are more dangerous. Yeah, I guess we'll forget about the mule for now. Let's keep on keeping on. Uh, all right, something's about to happen. I'm no longer in control of my king. The boars have trampled the ground here, keeping it clear of the thick undergrowth which borders it. Oh, well, that's good. What, uh, what's that? Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, I can't even. S oh, heck yeah. You want some? You saw what just happened to your buddy? Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's what happened to your buddy. <laughs> the boar has galled you to the core. Alas, King Arthur is no more. But that's why we save often and early on this channel. Bees are on the what now? First death. That's right. I didn't know that was a thing. All right. Got the timing of that first one. Definitely some Quest for Glory, like, dangerous battle music right there. I don't get that. I think I, I must have been late on that one. Seems like I got the first one timing-wise. Look, Rock. Listen, there's rustling in the bushes. Something heavy approaches. Let's ask Merlin about Russell. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Kill like 30 of these. Okay. Yeah, I was late on that second one. I was early as heck on that one and it worked out. Oh, yeah. Bring it on, boars! Heck yeah! Three for three! Call me King of Camelot for nothing! Heck yeah, already three. Dismount! Okay. <laughs> this is not one of them. I don't know. As I we learned from Quest of Glory 2, there is no, or the entire series, there is no safer place to sleep or just chillax than on the screen of a dead monster. But I realize this is a different game. It's a different time. But there you go. There you go. Um, all right. Let's keep on keeping on. Whoa. Oh, fool, you shall seek death by coming here. Turn back now or die. Let me guess. You want some silver. Talk to the crow. Hear me then, O oh brave fool. The Black Knight is the greatest of all knights. None have beaten him. He's invincible. Even Sir Gawain was grievously wounded. That's not him, is it? The Black Knight awaits you for a joust to the death. Do you accept the challenge? Yeah. Heck yeah. F <laughs> fool. <laughs> eh, whatever. 
Hey, I'll time space right for that fool, just like you did those boars. Look at Skeleton. Once a stout knight, naught is left but a bit of armor. His bones picked clean by the crow. A bit of brightly colored silk. Let's get that silk. Never know when you might need some skeleton silk. But his sleeve has surely been there as long as the dead knight. Magic involved here. Magic with a K. Look. Heart of the forest. Wow, that's only like three screens. Not a very uh, deep forest. Yeah. Give me some snarky reply. <laughs> that would not be much conversation. Get that sick armor. Yeah. Old and rusted and of no use to you. Okay. All right. Guess that's it. Let's follow that crow. Whoop up on this black knight. Got some splaining to do. Is that just like a black background? Is that... Hold, King Arthur. Do not seek to move. Not even Merlin can free you from my power in this place. Here are your choices. In the forest beyond me, I've imprisoned your friend, Sir Gawain. He is sorely injured and shall die soon without help. To free him, you must joust with me. Ah, heck yeah. Three times you must unhorse me before I can die. Three times I must unhorse you to slay you with the first knight to strike the third blow as the victor. Bow to the death. Oh, that's good. I don't really care. I mean, if I'm dead, it's kind of an afterthought. Surely die. Hmm. That is. That's very tempting. Let's joust, baby. Let's save first, actually. Already three. Already three is my lucky save, I think I've decided. Joust, baby. Joust. You are a worthy opponent. Take it. Wait, what? Is this like a... Oh, man, this is straight out of Conqueror 1086. The joust will continue until either you or I have been horse three times. Let it begin. I don't think the mouse is the way to do that. Make it the last. So no one. Epic. Oh, almost. I was getting in there. Almost. Oh yeah! Suck it! Heck yeah! Luckily, as long as I'm getting a good lick on him, doesn't seem like he... Oh yeah! That's two, baby! <laughs> sure, that's how the real King Arthur would have... Or, I say the real. That's how Arthur would have celebrated. Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> Heck yeah! Dead fool. You have vanquished the Black Knight, King Arthur. Heck yeah. Praise all the powers that be. You are victorious, my king. Heck yeah. You see there's some there's some shrooms on the last screen. Go back for the mushrooms, alright. I'm telling you, save three. There's something about there's some magic in save three with a K. Oh yeah. I those did look like they were popping off. I thought when I looked, get mushrooms. Since they're dangerous. <laughs> Shrooms. Uh, do I need to come back later? 
That's so lame. If I'm like, oh, wait, what? That's weird. I didn't say eat him. Oh, Arthur. Mark. You just, you're just having fun, aren't you? That was not my lucky save that time. All right. Well, I'm going to assume I don't want the mushrooms to kill me. <sighs> did they kill me? Or did he just have a trip? A sweet experience. Anyway. Just supposed to look at them. Okay. Hi. Eat shrooms, baby. Talk to... Was this Gawain? Help me, Arthur. The pain is terrible. All right, all right. I got a copper for you, too. Free Gawain. If I could spell. Most direct method? Sure. Undo shackles. Cut shackles? Use that Excalibur. Wouldn't be much of the ultimate sword if it couldn't shatter a few shackles. Y'all right, bro? Beware, Mad Monk. I believe he has the grill. Ask about Monk. Though I did not reach the door, I believe the grail is held by the Mad Monk of Glastonbury. Okay. Uh, you want to come with me? Uh, put Gawain on horse? See, this is where that mule would come in handy. May God be with you, Arthur. Tear not with me. Go at once to the door. Find the grail, I beg you. So, he is right. Your horse will carry him safely back to Camelot. They said that there were very few screens which I should not be on my horse. And now I don't even have a horse. All right. Well, one of the three knights that we sent out is now safe. So that's good. <laughs> I bet the monk has all kinds of soul. What's our soul looking like after beating the uh, Black Knight? Oh, yeah. We're at about 18% soul right now. Ish. 16%? 15%. 16, 17, I don't know. Somewhere in there. Math is, uh, it's not one part of the royal curriculum at Camelot. Is there anything else on the screen? This place should look familiar. <laughs> not saying I'm like blacking out or anything. I'm just, is there anything else that I need to grab? Can I get the shackles? It is a huge, all right, now you're just trolling me. Shackles. You have dealt with the shackles. All right. Fine. Carry on. So looking good. Skill and wisdom still a little lacking. Yeah, we gotta work. Man, every screen of this game is dangerous. Beware, Arthur. I like not the look of this old, sorry, old hag who stands upon the pedestal. <laughs> what did that voice turn into? Talk to hag. Ye shall not pass through this circle unless ye give me what I desire. Everybody wants a handout, man. And what is that desire, ye wonder? Ah, if ye be so cunning a knight, ye shall know. Just Forest Witch. <laughs> Couldn't even give her a proper name. Forest Witch. So lazy, Arthur. She might, Maybe she just wants a name. Uh... Give... Copper? There you go. Have a copper from the Kingdom of Camelot. Pfft, screw that. Hope I didn't give her any copper. Um, she's like, don't lowball me with copper. What else have we got? Uh, I don't think. I feel like I should keep the rose. Stab witch. 
kill witch. Hey, I just took down the Black Knight. No one even said word one of you. Well, then do it. Stab. All right. I'm not going to give her the rose. Throw Excalibur. I like that. Excalibur. Excalibus. <laughs> Note to self. The pandemic is over. Start a Let's Play with Brigands bus line. Call it Excalibus. I'm not really sure how it ties back in. The branding's not there, but anyway. Throw the damn sword. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I probably don't need sword lessons from a wizard. Um, give sleeve? Oh, nice. Sure. Yeah, I'm not gonna give her the rose. Whoa, Lady Elaine! Bless you, valiant knight. I am the Lady Elaine, transformed into the forest witch by a hideous spell cast upon me by the Black Knight. Be nice if that could have just undone when I killed him and everything, but... Only this sleeve, which I gave to my true love, could set me free- Oh, no. She's like, have you seen him, by the way? Oh, no! No! I'm so... You're gonna hear, like, from two screens over it. Ah! What just happened here? These are runes of very ancient type. Probably a warning or incantation. Look at stone. Read inscription. Five poets bold did come astray. Five standing stones now bar the way of limbs bereft. Yet voice I left. To pass through the middle, he must ask for... What? Hmm. That's not good. I still have the rose. Right, all right. Swing sword. All right. What's with this stone, Merle? Okay. Sometimes I don't see the point of asking about things because it seems like it's the exact same thing as if I just looked at the stone myself. Seems like it's the same effect. But anyway. Um, yeah. Let's get moving, right? Is there anything else going on here? Yeah. I guess that's it. Onward. There's my damn mule. Just you and me now, but... What? Thrown back by a sorceress barrier of great power. Must be a way to pass it. Five stones are part of the riddle you must solve to breach the barrier. Oh, the five stones. Yeah, there are five stones here. <laughs> oh, counting. Look at stone. They're quite plain. Uh... Read stone? Quite plain. Kind of like that sound. I mean, it's not that important, the mule. How did the mule get it? Does the mule know the answer? Did he figure it out? Oh, I guess that's... We're not ready to leave yet. Clearly. I have to pee on them in the correct order. Talk to each stone. Okay. Talk to stone. Move closer to a stone. All this for a dang mule. We probably got a thousand of these back in the castle. Three lives have I. Gentle enough to soothe the skin. Light enough to caress the sky. Hard enough to crack rocks. What? Am I? Soothe the skin hard enough to crack rocks. I don't know the light about, but I mean the sky, but it seems like water, soothing skin, and then eroding rocks. <laughs> Call Mule. <laughs> what if I didn't have to do any of these riddles? And the Mule is just like, hey, what's up? Yeah, I can talk, by the way. Yeah, I'll come right through. Water? Heck yeah. Hopefully I did it right. So, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Going with my lucky thing right here. 
Talk to Stone. Come on. Let's try and talk to the stone. I turn around once. What is out will not get in. I turn around again. What is in will not get out. What is out will not get in. What is in will not get out. I turn around. This out will not get in. Turn around again. It's like a door? Like a lock? Like a lock or a key? A lock. Key. Lock. All right. Guess I had to get it on that first try. You're a key. Heck yeah. There you go. Rich, you got it too. You got the answers? All right, I appreciate it. Let's keep going though. When set loose, I fly away. Never so cursed as when I am astray. Never so cursed as when I go astray. What am I? When set loose, I fly away. Never so cursed. So... So if it goes the wrong way, it's not great. You fly away when you're set loose. Um, I'm thinking like some like something offense like arrow. Oh yeah, I am feel okay. That brings me back down. Anybody else get that? That was a guess. <laughs> I had to think of like Camelot times. Like, what do they use? Uh, lovely and round, I shine with pale light, grown in the darkness, a lady's delight. Grown in the pale, a lady's delight. Uh, pale light. Not like a flower, some kind of jewelry. Round, like a ring, a like a gem, grown in the darkness, like a diamond. I don't know if that's necessarily round. They couldn't cut it back then. Pearl? I like pearl. Go with pearl, Ojin. Good call, my friend. We get a nice little harmonies too when we do this. Alright, last one. We get that. A lot of work for a damn mule. Cerebral challenge to get my dumb animal back. Riddle stone. All about but cannot be seen. Can be captured. Cannot be held. No throat but I am heard. What am I? Like wind? Cannot be seen, cannot be cap, can be captured, cannot be held. Just air? Can air be captured? I guess like a sail? I guess you could put it in a jar or something. Just air? Wind? I don't know, it's pretty straightforward. Pokemon? <laughs> All right, you damn mule. What? Where? Arthur? center of the ruins on Glastonbury tour and the Foo Fighters are just about to go on stage what good timing uh oh that changed those corners anyone see that that's not just me right it wasn't always so ominous there's another riddle section later in the game that's good to know Alter Trinity. Huh. Go to 
different set. Let's go eight. Already eight. Uh, kneel. Offend your own gods. Kneeling to false gods. All right. These gods probably don't consider themselves false gods. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, that's not the way I just came from. Can I even go this way? Sir Easney's arrow keys a bit more. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, it's the Mad Monk! Greetings, stranger. Or welcome to Glastonbury Tour. You're just in time for cold play. Um. Hello. Talk to Monk. As you can see, I am an old, poor, helpless monk seeking enlightenment through solitude. I am amazed you have passed the real stones for your own base betrays no great intelligence. Cool. Men in armor make me nervous. Go away. All right then. I'll call your bluff. A <laughs> strip. Bam. Bam. Ask Merlin about man. I didn't ask you. Look. Open well. Uh. Break. Lock. <laughs> Forsake my god. I should have typed that. <laughs> Again, calling the game's bluff. Worship false gods. Possible break by ordinary means. Okay. I tried kissing it. Okay. <laughs> Guess he knew what I was thinking. <laughs> I haven't kissed anything in a while since Gwen. Gwenny. All right. Ask about the grail. Do you know about that? Thief robber? What? The power is mine, mine, I will never share it. SOB. Now where did he go? More skeletons on that. Whoa! What the H? This is a party. The one is deadly. Draw sword! Oh, hell yeah! We doing this? Well done, Arthur! Way to slam that space bar. The hell? We are the old ones, and you have killed the monk, our servant, the only servant we have had for centuries. That leaves an opening, Arthur. Oh, wow, I was joking. Uh-oh. He came at me? That was self-defense. Oh, I didn't know I could just do that on command. That's pretty handy. Make sure I have that more often. Oh, how do I like, put my sword away? Sheath sword, there we go. Nice. F8, it's the quick one. Test chamber. Oh, fiddlesticks, where am I now? Where am I to go? Kneel at altar. <sighs> um. Just keep walking around till I run into them again. Let's do a new save in case I need to go back.
Do I need to like do something at this altar? Give some money? I... I have no idea. Silver? Kind of makes it seem like, is there like a, a specific amount or something? Offer money to alter. It's interesting that it lets me do this. Ah. Okay. Hopefully they're dumb and it's copper. Ah, they like silver. Alright. Okay, let's just do one by one. I want to overpay for this. Jeez. Is there a figure you have in mind? I feel like there's a number you're thinking of. Like the sweet BMX bike we have our sights on costs at least four silver. Ye old BMX. Get our eyes on a nice flat screen. Oops. Not that. I don't know. Five? Glorious silver, how pure and perfect it is. Having silver is better than having a servant. Man, sucks to be, uh... The Mad Monk in more ways than one, because I just murdered him. But anyway, thank you. Was that the key? Take key. I'm assuming it's a key. For the well. Alright. Progress. Unlock well. Sweet. Open well. Alright. Already seven back in effect. Climb in well. This well is both ancient and sacred. Ooh. <laughs> Us jellyfish weren't born yesterday. I'm like, but... One does not swim in sacred wells. Whatever. Jump in well. Look in well. Reach in well? Just kind of reach around in there. Mad Monk's treasure. A beautiful glittering crystal heart. How cold it is to the touch. Alas, Arthur, this is the object of power that created the spell of circular entrapment. The grail is not here. But now we can leave? Reach in well. Delicately lower herself into well. It's like, wait a minute, the grail is in here after all, son of a bitch. You now have only a wet hand to show for your stubbornness. <laughs> there are worse fates for being stubborn. Alright, whatever. Alright, Muley Muley. Let's ride. I mean, let's mount. Uh, mount Mule. There's no need? Really? Take mule. Okay. There, now it's following us. Alright. Mule's just like, damn it, I can only figure out four of those five riddles. Thank you, Arthur. Shapwick, Camelot, what was the one? Uh, very odd more. I think odd more is where we're going. Or Windsor. Southampton sounds lovely this time of year. Totness. Harlan Point, Exeter. Let's go to Odd Moor. Snowy. I feel like we need to... This is where Graham would put on his cloak if this were uh, King's Quest V. Oh, look. They updated the uh, little corner art there to reflect how cold it is. Pet Mule. There's no need. Man. Sucks to be a mule. What if it's actually like a princess? Okay. <laughs> Just checking. Has those twinkly sounds that you uh, definitely remember from Shapir. The deserts. I don't know where I'm going. RD7. Okay then. 
that's why we save. Hmm. Ask Merlin about ice. Death three and four. It is made of frozen water. I thought you knew that. Man, Merlin's a dick. Whoa. Alright, that's snow. That's ridiculous. Is that just gonna, like, fix itself? Yep. Yep. Five deaths. Five deaths in. Okay. Am I missing something here? Check mules. Mule has some like sweet stuff on it. Guess not. Guess not. I know, right? When games are ridiculously hard but treat you like a stupid baby. <laughs> I hate that too. Like, duh. I don't know, what do we got? Got our lodestone. Use lodestone. Alright, top of the screen is north. Super helpful. <laughs> Use rose. We get advice from the rose. I sense the spell of guidance upon the rose. It was placed there by one of you must speak. The message of the rose to invoke this spell. Speak message of rose. Uh, is that like copy protection? What, what are they trying to say with that? Um, let's see. Uh, hold on. All right. So, thank you to Mark, who told me, I don't know, he said, I don't know if it's copy protection or I just was just supposed to hear this somewhere. But what I need to type is, love is my shield. But let's spell it right. And then that creates this thing, which tells me exactly where to go. Or at least creates a little shield around me. So that I'm immediately a graduate of the Jenny Craig program. All right, calm down. We're lighter. That's what I'm trying to say. sure we're recording as I almost go in the water. Stick with it. Keep saving. Stick with it and save. Drama. Just some drama. <laughs> Make sure you're still watching. Lord, how many screens is this? Do you have a plan? Guinevere? It's the only rose. She probably gave like the other thousand that were in the garden to Lancelot. See how that worked out for him. He probably didn't have the copy protection either. There we go. Sweet. Anyone see uh, Conan the <sighs> Destroyer? Or is it Conqueror? Whatever the second one was. Makes me think of that ice castle. That was my favorite of the three. Of the two that I've seen, that was my favorite. Let me put it that way. Anyway, good times. Thank you, Ojin. Whoa! That would be one of my other knights, presumably. Is that Lance, by the way? Talk to... Well, let's look first. Here stands the Ice Maiden, a cold and unloving manifestation of the Lady of the Lake. Ah... That's where I got my sword. Near her is Sir Lancelot imprisoned in ice. Let me guess. You got all horny. He made a pass at her. She said, nuh uh. And here we are. You're incorrigible, my man. I sense that you possess something that belongs to me. Give it to me, and I will tell you what even Merlin does not know where to search for the grail. It's my ice maiden voice right there but if you withhold it you will have neither help nor knowledge from me 
Lance? How you doing, buddy? He cannot answer you. I've sealed his heartless lips forever, unless you choose to win his freedom. Interesting. Choose to win freedom. This must be some strange foreign tongue. Okay. Alright. I assume you want the heart, right? Give heart. Alright, hopefully she's not going to reach out and stab me. Here you go. Blessed be he for this greatest of all gifts. I will give you the gift of knowledge in return. To find the grail, you must take ship to Gaza, then seek Jerusalem. Somewhere in that city it lies hidden. Once you leave here, I will transport you safely across the ice to continue your search. But Lancelot I will keep here, for he has spurned my love in favor of your queen. Oh, uh, that's what it was. It's kind of awkward. <laughs> Iceman, like, she's like, yeah, I, I hit on him. But he said, nuh -uh. He has only eyes for your lady. Um... Freelance a lot. Follow me. Alright. Maybe she's gonna hit on me a little bit. Ooh, how's that growing? We shall begin. Alright. It's like a vision test, a hearing test, a SAT. What, what is this? Standard aptitude? Begin. Yes. Freelance a lot. You must speak the language of the flowers. I will pose three riddles. You must give me the name of the flower that solves each riddle. Oh, Lord. The language of the flowers is the thought or emotion associated with each flower. If you know this, you may be able to choose correctly. If you fail even once, you'll join Lancelot in a tomb of ice. Man, even the Black Knight gave me three chances. But I will not force... All right. All right. Look at the bush. Might need some help with this one. Let the test begin. The flower that best answers it. Okay. To see riddle again. If a dream is abandoned, or purpose dies. These are left the dregs of bitterness. Wait. Bitterness and sighs. The dream is abandoned or a purpose dies. These are left the dregs. Cornflower, buttercup, sunflower, chrysanthemum, poppy, daffodil, yellow lily. Forget me not. Almond blossom. Dreams abandoned. Or purpose dies. These are left. So bitterness and sighs. Forget me not. No. Anemone. Sea anemone. Synthium, yeah, lily, poppy, cornflower, sunflower, buttercup. Um, forget me not. Anemone? Can I save right now? I guess I can't. Anemone? Really? Okay, sweet. Surrounded by giants, your worries were few. Wonders abounded. The world was new. Suck it up, Buttercup. <laughs> Suck it up, Buttercup. There's a few. Wonders abounded. The world was new. Surrounded by giants. Sunflower or Buttercup? Yeah. Sunflower buttercup. 
Pakura Buttercup. We're going with that. All right, there you go. I don't know if that was... <laughs> Wise are they who seek it. Fools are they who believe without it. Scorn those who claim to own it. Seek it, fools. Scorn those who claim to own it. Chrysanthemum? I'll take it. I will take it happily. Get me the heck out of here. What a weird test. Lancelot's got to work on his, uh, kind of like Crosby. Or is it Stills? Or was it Nash? I don't know. Heck yeah. Let's get out of here. Where's, uh, where's Lance? Is he just gone now? Is he back at the castle? Shut and Guinevere again? She'll be happy. All right, it's just you and me, Muley. But my wisdom went way up for that. Dang it. Oh, well. All right. Gaza. By way of Southampton. Yeah. How you doing? Got little anchors now. Same one, man. A foreign ship is moored along on a dock. Yonder poorly fellow is the harbor master. Yonder portly fellow. Some cargo and awaits delivery. You want my mule? Take my mule. There's no need. Let's talk to the guy. Yep, Galahad. Damn right, so give me passage. Gaza, please. What? How about I pay my way with your neck? I mean, I'll stab you. I haven't tried actually just stabbing someone. Do not disgrace yourself by threatening this good man. He'll never live to tell about it. Ah! Stab him! Dang it. All right, pay. Gaza. Go to Gaza. Passage to Gaza. <laughs> By passage to Gaza? How much was it? Two? Get how much he said. Might have said. Nice. Hope I didn't overpay. Sold by a Greek trader, and the new owner has yet to paint in the new name. Ignore the Greek name. I'll call it the Artie for now. God willing. That means not. That means we're going to get attacked by a Leviathan or something. This damn mule's following me everywhere. It's probably the last, uh, can I control the boat? Nope. Probably like the brain, or the fish, <laughs> in Space Quest VI. That's what we need for the last boss. Weary days and nights march on, a storm catches the ship, and you're each way it's crash deck. You barely save your mule, but your pack and nearly all your belongings are washed away. What?! Next day, the captain thanks you by giving good advice. You are not a king in these lands, so you do not be quick to draw your sword. Surrounded by enemies, careful trust, never pay bribes with too much coin. Gossip port. 
journey. Dreamless sleep. Wow, party. <laughs> All right, Arthur. <laughs> Looked like uh, Lancelot was there. Heck yeah. Is that Adipes? Arthur? Ar Arthur, wake up. Huh? <laughs> Whoa. Foreign wine, huh? If your head is pounding, blame no one but yourself. I feel like I'm in Razier. Get away from my mule. This kid's gonna try to fleece me. Sir, I am Hazim. My master sends his respects and invites you to accept his hospitality. My master. Ignore the boy. You are lucky he did not make off with your mule. I am Jabir ibn Hamid. I overheard some sailors say you need a guide through the desert of Jerusalem. Please, sir, my master is Asarit, and he's very wise, and he asks... Asarit is an impoverished old scholar of no use to anyone. But I, Jabir, know the desert, every rock, wadi, the waterhole. Trust me in all things. I don't know, you kind of look at Sir, I beg you to accept my master's hospitality. He heard of you from the captain of the ship, and he sends his warning that the Mukhtar of Gaza... Allow me to explain. The Mukhtar is the man who governs this port. He hates all foreigners. If he catches you here, he will throw you in prison. We should leave at once. Give me a choice of... Are they playing the cat is tail in music? Definitely give me a choice here of who we want to believe. Hazim just seems more chill. The other guy is kind of like bullying me into following him. I'm not down with that. Get out of here, boy. We men have business together. No need of chattering pests. Be off. <laughs> Stranger, you will never survive the desert without my help. I ask for no payment now. Hmm. Wow. And I'm just like, guys, guys, I am so hungover right now. <laughs> Follow child. Oh my god. You know what? I'll do it on my own. See ya. <laughs> They're like, oh. I bet they were working together. Where's the kid? No! Yes! Alright, there we go. Worked out. It is good that you have come. The captain sent word to me that you were here. Though in truth, I have been expecting you for some time. Actually got a little impatient. I'm a little offended that you took so long. It's a bit gauche, King Arthur. I am al the first of six guardians who serve the goddess. She who gives the power of life and regeneration through her sacred cup, which you know as the Grail. We have not named the mule yet. You'd think we would have after all this time. Been through a lot together. It's just sort of aimlessly followed me around. We who are the six guardians will test you in different ways. We will test your body. Whoa. Yeah, I bet we got to pass each one of you. Excuse me, master. I have fed and watered the mule for your guest, as you have said. Oh, that's nice. The mule... <laughs> Wait with the mule until our guest right. I thought they said the mule was their guest. Guide him in secret away from Gaza. Alright. Kawa. Oh, that sounds good. Order figs. Eat. Hell yeah. Bad dates. Drink. I didn't offer you anything. Be merry. Yeah. Okay. Ask about... You seen Galahad? Okay. Man, crazy Shapirian music right here. 
Muley McMules, and I like it. I like it. Right. Ask about Grail. Well, he just he did tell me that. It's about these guardians. Tell me more about them. Yes, you are. It's about the goddesses. All right, put with two Ds. Dean Vesta, Isis, Astarte, Ceres, and Venus. These are their symbols. Athene, all right. Remember that. Athene is sort of the arrowhead. Vesta is like your, I don't know, your brand. Kind of like your brand symbol. Branding. Branded symbol. Isis is your, your rabbit ears. A start is... I don't know. I don't know what you want to call that. Like an alien clock? That's simple enough. That's a C. I can remember that for series. And Venus. That's that's your basic... Yeah, female. I can remember that. Cool. Ask Merlin. Merlin sucks. Can we talk about that? Are we all agreed, basically? All right. Think. Get up. Oh, yeah. By the way, where is Shima? Yeah, I do. Man, I could go for a Shima dance right about now. Thiefy McSteels? Yeah, I do. All right. Get up. See ya. Oh, it's the bathroom. Rife was changing in there. Guess that's it. Is that guy gonna show up? Expecting a brigand to run out or something. Maybe I should have hired that guy. I don't know where the hell I'm going. <laughs> Offer him up, dog. What's up, dog? Hey, there he is. I'm happy to see you again. You were lucky to find this water without me. Yeah, yeah, a voozle, by the way. I've quenched my thirst already. Please drink your fill. Didn't someone say not to drink foreign waters or something? I swear someone said that. Foreign waters. Maybe I'm thinking of a different game. I was just testing Lands of Lore. Maybe they were talking about that. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't drink. Most inviting. I'm surprised your mule was not drunk from it yet. Uh, there's probably something going on. No. You know what? I'm gonna sick of this guy. Time to die. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Save a camel. Huh. Probably from drinking whatever this is. There's a natural pool of water surrounded by cooks. Some plants grow here. I don't know. The plants seem to be surviving. There's also a camel skeleton. Take bone. Nonsense. I don't know. I lost everything though when I uh, when I came over in that ship. Oh well. I did show him. Don't step to Artie. Seems dangerous. It's too much for that poor girl. Really? I guess it's the, the light-colored hair. I'm probably pretty exotic around these parts. You know what, Richard? You are the official soul checker. Soul reminder checker. 
We are about one third through our total soul points. I don't have high hopes for our soul, but we got more progress on that than some of the others, actually. A long pool of fresh water. I see stairs, though, it kind of looks like. There we go. Stay here, Muley. All right, then. Or come with me. Ah, the mule is the clue. The clue's in the mule. I have to get in the water to drink it. I feel like it's definitely a King's Quest V moment where if we did not drink, we would probably die of thirst. Idiot. <laughs> what a way to go. Ferris Mueller, I like that. Ferris Mueller it is. Come on, Ferris. True. Thank you. What's going on, fellas? This is straight out of Quest of Glory 2. Hello. Talk to men. Jaffa Gate. Oh man. But that's for losers. A stinking infidel. Jaffa Gate better make it work with my while. Ugh. Pay man. Man, probably don't want to lowball this guy. But I don't want to give him too much money. That's what the captain said. Two copper? Two more copper? Copper all around. Nice. Alright. I think we actually didn't get ripped off there. Kind of happy about that. New save. Ferris. Mueller. <laughs> Fantastic. <clears throat> I guess we're going this way. Is that a cliff? Can't tell. <clears throat> like that percussion sound there. I can go. It's Mary and her. Yes, sir! Oh, whatever I can afford, but I must pay. I don't know. I just feel like people need to stop ragging me. That's what I thought. One on one, I will pull that sword out. Cool. I'm trying to push Artie around. Ferris Mueller is like, Way to go, Arthur. You don't take shit from anybody. So this is the Bazaar of Jerusalem. Tiny shops line both sides of the street, and such smells, delicious foods combined with the raw sewage in the gutter. Watch where you step. <laughs> Arma. So, what? What the H? What? No. Hold on. Get my sword out. Hey, was that supposed to happen? Can't even pull my sword out. All right. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. I'm a talking mule. that guy go? Dang it. Not now, Ferris. Get out of the way. 
this place is huge. There's a meow meow. Thought I would wait and see how you fared, warrior. I take it things did not go well. I'm sorry to see it. If I were not about to leave on a long journey, I would take you in as my guest. It does not seem to me that you have much use for your mule now. And such a fine mule she is too. You hitting on Ferris? All right, I'll sell my mule. It's a bargain. Baby, if you would truly part with this excellent mule, wow. I think she was that good. I didn't even know it was a she. I'm glad to give you all the money I have upon me. It is a goodly sum, a strong sum. <laughs> but this fine mule is worth every coin. Two dinars. Oh yeah. Or gold coin. I'm, I swear, Thief of McSteels is going to run across the screen at any point. Durham's silver and some falls. Falls a copper coin. <laughs> Since I see you don't understand, I will rip you off. Alright, watch out for the brigands on those caravans. I'm speaking from experience. I know, I feel like we're back in Shapir. Well, that sucks. Hopefully we'll find that guy that ripped us off. Let's go shopping, everybody. Ooh, falafels. Sarah? Her name's Sarah? I can go for some falafel right now. One fall. Did I get it? Pay. One copper. I like that King Arthur refuses to speak in their currency terms. Get quickly or it will crumble. Talk to you, kid. Oh, No one will help one another. Oh, give him the falafel, Arthur. Don't be a dick. Oh, He's so hungry. That was a good deed, Arthur. Oh, soul check. <laughs> soul check 20. Soul watch 2020. What was that worth? That was like... That was decent. Probably 15 soul points right there. I don't know how many we got from selling Ferris. Sell Ferris. Get the cat to teach me how to dance. Oh, that's a good idea. That is a great idea. She's like, it was a dance used for fertility. Now we just kind of do it for uh, <laughs> fun, Shima said, blushing. Yeah. Lennons, huh? Man, I'm in over my head. There's so much to buy here. Can't go in the alley. Oh, is that. Yeah, where'd that guy that ripped me off go? What do we got here? Some kind of fruit? Ball pit? Like a. 9th century ball pit. Does everyone know me? Oh, okay. That makes sense. Why didn't I go in the first place, then? Sacred to Aphrodite, eh? Alright. Buy apple. One apple. And one only, I will sell you. Here are your choice. Man, everything's a riddle in this damn game. I'll just give you an apple that is only an apple and nothing more. Eat, and it will taste good. <laughs> That's really all I'm looking for in most apples that I purchase. One Durham apple that will satisfy all your hungry. It's like all your thirst and ease your weariness. Huh. Dinar and apples bitter to the tongue. Taste of truth. Fancy. 
Yeah, my, my grocer only has that mid-level apple. This is fancy. Pay. All right, I will buy your top tier apple. Nom nom. Interesting. Okay. Shrimp spell. Okay. Now, what if we try talking to her now? <laughs> well, I should not be telling you this. Lamb. Huh. Okay. Interesting. All right, let's get her some meat. Kowalski some meat. What's that guy selling juice and stuff? Where's the meat man? You the meat man or you just the fish man? Fish. Where's, where's the non-fish meat? What are you selling? Sure. Mirrors. Can I buy a mirror? Two Durham's. Pay. Hey, so that's what silvers. We agreed. Just try copper. Come, come. That is not enough. Here we go. Got a sweet mirror. Man, tell me the truth, textile guy. It's like uh, Bruno when he got in the Thieves Guild. <laughs> amateurs, they just keep sending me amateurs or the Thieves Guild leader. Mari. Silk and Veil. Okay. to return it to me. Oh man. It's high stakes. I know how you feel. My wife's been cheating on me with a guy that I just saved. So he could go back and keep cheating. Or she could keep cheating on me with him, but... <sighs> you didn't eat the apple. I don't need to be telling you this. Mari. Mari, you say? Where is the alley? Ask Merlin what to do. Tch, strange friend. Mari? She is not here. Let's ask him about Mari. But. Above the shop. Well, knock on door. So she's up there. Bunch of fetch quests for everyone in the bazaar. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Call for Mari. Is she up there? Okay. Oh, hey. Hampson. Powerful wind, I see you're a foreigner. Rich men. I see. Ask about Vale. Suffer, he will never get it. Greater value, just take the mirror. I assume. <laughs> I 
I played adventure games. Just tossing the mirror up. It's a bad idea. Throw mirror. <laughs> what was that gesture? Hmm. I might say mirrors cannot lie, huh? She's not Merlin's type. What did that woman have? Here you go, buddy. Fetch quest. Is he gonna give me something? I just take all of his rugs and everything. There's new leaders too, Larry. What do you got? Looks like I take his rug three times and summon Zen Drake. I was just thinking of him. Lamps, oil, vases, jars, bottles, herbs, and charcoal. Let's see. Remember the herbs would, uh... One Durham. Will he just know what I want if I give him one silver? Charcoal? How much is it? That's not bad. I got 17 balls. Nice. Many hundred years over in Candlelight. Okay. We're getting near the end of our fetch quest here, but... Alright, so... I guess I need to give it to the fish guy. Will this clear up the smell? There we go. There, I fixed it. All right. I'll take the cat. <laughs> you sure you have the right merchant for that? Is there a man here? Who's whose shop is this? There was someone here. There you go. Yeah. Grain, eh? Buy grain. One scoop. Two for the bag. <laughs> Don't have a bag for the grain. All right. Um. Buy bag. All right. So I just. in that case that we are proud new owner of a grain a bag of grain <laughs> I'll have to check that out new we see Larry so who's got the meat around here the fish guy have it
I don't know, worked in Space Quest 6? That's all I'm saying. That's the lamp guy. I don't think I've even been over here yet. Here's the meat guy. Goat, lamb, and chicken. She wanted lamb. Buy lamb. Five dinar is a single cut. I'm running low on cash here. Hopefully this fetch quest works out here. Eight screens to Bazaar, yeah, so four on each. So we've seen six so far. Okay. Take rug. I need the merge tonight. Take care of that guy. Give lamb. There you go. Yep. Well. That's just how we do things in a little place I like to call Camelot. Sarah. <laughs> Sarah. Everybody else is like, I am Habil Hagar Jam. And you're like, I'm Sarah. My name's Stephanie. I know. Oh, wow. Good lord. <laughs> Pay it forward, I guess, right? There you go. Kid's like, hell yeah. Shaking it, see if it has cat. I shall name him Joshua. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Music's very chill. This guy looks pretty shady. I like it. Already 15. I just saw the dog. It's not a guard. Is that a guard? It's just some shady looking dude. That dog, now we get some fur. Fawaz's dog. Do anything to improve Fawaz's temper. Oh. Yeah, I guess it is. So we need a broom. I gotcha. Pretty par for the course in a fetch quest. Talk to man. You look like you need some charcoal, bro. <laughs> you look like you need some charcoal, bro. You're lucky I just happened to buy some. Is that it? Whatever. Sure. What are you selling here? Relics, eh? Let's buy a relic. Saint's name? Uh... Look at relics. back room. I don't know. Well, wait. Ask about the relics. I don't know. Fer Ferris? St. Ferris! Yes, Ferris, the St. Ferris of Bueller. St. Michael, you like Michael? Normally, two dinos. Ah, uh, one dinar. I did. I don't know who to. Thiefy. Ah, Saint Thiefy <laughs> of mixed steels. Uh, I don't want to mess this up. I might need to look this up as we go to already sixteen. See if we can figure out who we need exactly here. Uh, when he asks for it, Peter. Peter. All right. Sure. Why not? Ask about relics. I should 
capitalize Peter. There we go. All right. Buy a relic. This is my last Dinar. Peter. Wait, but one instant. Ba -da 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 -da. Do you? Credit's about to roll. I knew it well. Do you? He's like, two dinars, just for you. <laughs> I feel like you don't have it. I feel like you're grifting me. I don't have any more dinars. I think that's sort of the point. <laughs> you accidentally closed your purse without giving me any money. It's like, I have a black bird. Legend tells there's many imitations, but only one that you want. Uh, all right. So he wanted give relic. All right. Can I get the broom? There we go. Fetch quest almost over. Always frustrating the fetch quest. Give room. How about that? You've managed to part to reek from his broom. I think we've taught everyone an important lesson about paying it forward today. What do I get for this? Even though I see you as an infidel, I pray you shall one day know the ecstasy of paradise. Ah, <laughs> oh, heck yeah. Thank you. Don't drink too much this time, Arthur. Time passed. You have eaten well and spent a restless night being bitten by bedbugs and dreaming about Camelot. Guinevere, who's probably getting rammed by, uh, rammed and reamed by Lancelot at this moment. While I'm sleeping on the floor getting eaten on by bedbugs. But anyway, unless he can find the grail. So he got the main. Flea <laughs> boys here, all ears in Camelot. Was that necessary? Was that important in the plot? I guess like we had to pass time or something like that, essentially. Knock on door. All right then. Something else change? Yeah. Just me. He's so shady. Look at that guy. My goodness. Greeting that is juicer nay. I know he's selling lamps and stuff. But he's just, I'm glad that kid has a home now. That's nice. Oh, there's that woman that's been walking around everywhere. Talk to you, woman. Drop the cage and all my mistress's doves escaped. They will not come back, and they are prize doves, hand fed by my mistress from hatchlings. Oh man, sucks to be you. That's them up there. I still got the grain. Drop grain. Throw grain. It's like gonna say, you know what I want to do? Don't be a douche, Merlin. There you go. Scoop him up. Do I need to do it? No, can't type. <laughs> Once they're fed, they're like, okay. What a crazy party that was. You thought me only a simple girl, but I'm initiated of the goddess sent to watch and test you. Oh man. Really? Okay. That worked out pretty well. Talk to the Sears again. Knowledge is my reward. Man, a lot of folks are paying me in knowledge in this game. 
Seek the star and crescent where Phanima dwells. Now you're ready. She will admit you. Guardians of the Sacred Cup. What else are you giving me? Apple that ends. Oh, the silver apple. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Goddess be with you. All right. Cool. So shady. Mm, already 11. Sorry, thought he was going to automatically do that. Whoa. Noir? It's like if Noir got dancing lessons from Shima. Heck yeah. No time, isn't it? Ogle. Look at woman. Whoa! Did Aloe program this scene? She's so exquisite that even I am moved by her beauty. Wow. I'm gonna say, Merlin has high standards, and she is no ordinary woman. I feel a power here that rivals my own. <laughs> is that what you call it? Talk to her. Oh, handsome stranger from a distant land, this is my dance of love. I offer you pleasures such as you have never known. It's probably true. I bet Lancelot knows them. I offer my body, I offer you the sweetest wine. Kiss me and I will give you forgetfulness and bliss in an earthly paradise. All the pains of your heart and soul will be cured. But you kiss me and be my cherished lover. I mean... I'm not getting it back at Camelot, so... Yep. Ah, so slow. She's way too pretty to be going that slow, Artie. It does seem like a trap, but we gotta try it, right? It starts grinding up on me. <laughs> no, Arthur! No! Merlin's like, no. I'll never have a chance with you. I don't know, this looks pretty good to me. Oh, well. I mean, she's just into some kinky stuff. That's all right. Smothered to death by a perfume pilly. How <laughs> will I ever explain this? Like, she cares. Making out with Lancelot right now? No. And if the delights of the flesh are not enough, I got a few more powerful gifts. I serve as the goddess herself, and I'm drunk from her sacred cup. A vision of the Holy Grail. <gasps> yeah, I can kind of see it. Where'd you pull that out from? Power to give you one out. One kiss. Invincible. No man, woman, or beast. Hmm. Invincible. Think of all deeds of valor. I mean, that sounds pretty good, but again, for some reason, I know the answer is no. Find you worthy, King Arthur. That was easy enough. You want to stop dancing so we can talk shop here? Ask about the grail. I must know about the grail. Catacombs. Ah, uh, yeah, Galahad. To walk safely in the catacombs, you must pass my test of symbols. Dang it! Anyone remember those? Did anyone write those down? <laughs> okay. Sure. Yes. Ask about Galahad. He didn't pass, yeah. <laughs> he wasn't paying attention either. <laughs> I don't blame him. What is that? Hierophant? Hierophant? Ancient he is and he is wise, yet shunned by fools who fear his guise. 
Yeah, that didn't really help, but okay. Ask about catacombs. Ask about test. Six tablets. <laughs> Just copy protection, essentially. Except the fact... Uh, it probably changes each time. Just not bound by material. Give me your purse. Well, I don't have much money left. Give purse. Ugh. Oh, good. It's faster when she's not dancing up a storm. Test awaits you. All right. So let's see. I remember an alien. Right. Sure. Yeah. What's the, uh, oh, she had a great, great shrine at Virgin House. That Venus? That, that? Hestia. Which one is Ceres? Copper? Ceres Copper? Great Shrine in Africa. That doesn't tell me anything. Hathor. That doesn't mean anything to me. I think I need the manual for this. Hestia equals Vesta. And Vesta was... I don't think I did a good save for this part. Maybe I should pause the video and figure this out. Okay, I think we got it. Had a little help from the chat, but also kind of cross-referencing and pulling up an old save state. I think this is the correct answer. These are the correct answers. Hopefully we got it sorted. Let's try it. Your wisdom is great. You have passed my test. Heck yeah. Well done, and thank you, everyone. Truly, you are the most worthy of all men who have passed my door. You have the internet, my god. Go with my blessings and find the hero font. Hero font. <laughs> Definitely gonna save after that. There's my symbol save state. Tests. Galen into the catacomb not returned. I think I'm ready. Do I need anything else before we go in? Enter catacomb. Cabaco Cabba bomb. <laughs> Still feeling the effects of that foreign wine. Enter the catacombs. Okay then. Open. The catacombs. Nice. Cursed rats. Each bite is poison. One bite from these rats and you will die slowly. Certain death more quickly and with great agony. Really? I think if it came more quickly, it would be less agony, but I don't know. There are your catacombs. So he's having a fit when he's talking. Take this vial of elixir. If you're bitten, drink it, and you will be cured. One dose, it's so wasted not. Also, I recommend that you save off and in early. Worry not, beggar. That is the way of Let's Play with Brigands. Get 
bone. Can't imagine why. Why would he get in position though? Did he pick it up for a second? Did it just fall apart? What is that uh, creature doing to that guy's crotch area? That's a very suggestive mural there. Interestingly, okay. Weird. Oh, I think I saw one of those rats in there. We, we better do a lot of saves here. Yeah? <laughs> what the hell? I smell warm blood and live flesh. Come closer, I have golden treasure. Come closer and see. Nah, I'm good. That was weird. Worst sound ever. Ooh, sweet statue. <laughs> In this place, it would not surprise me to hear a statue talk. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da. I'm open. Uh. I don't know what to put there. I beg you, a ghoul is not to be trusted. Let's not profile ghouls. I mean, you don't know what's going on in there. That might not be bad. Oh. Wow, it's dark. Doing something. It's a mushroom. That looks like one from the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, look at that sweet bling! Heck yeah. Uh, take chain. Burton's already great. What is that? Symbols. Look at mummy. Take medallion. Without risking a rat. So they're very keen on me not getting uh, bitten. Use bone. Ah, throw bone. Okay. <laughs> well, screw you too, Merlin. Um... Can I, like... you think he could, like, kind of get it with the sword. Get get mad. With sword? Oh, yes. Look at that. Very clever. I like that pose, too. That was all action. <laughs> Alright. Maybe we can trade now. Maybe it wants this medallion. We could also try going north here. Oh, this place is a freaking... One last time, everybody. <laughs> Cut hand. Give medallion. Your source of protection? Are you mad? Alright. Wear a medallion. Look. In. Nice. Uh. <laughs> Why not? 
Take the apple. I mean, I didn't even see it, so I don't know what kind of a lure that could have been, how effective that would have been. But alas, oops, sorry, let's keep checking this place out. Back at the start here. Did I just go in a circle? <gasps> Go ahead. Ah, son of a. All right. That makes me feel better. They told me that. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Oh, yeah. Dang. That's rough. Wait a minute. I could give him the elixir, but then I won't have any. This calls for, oh no, too many arties. <laughs> Let's go back to where it all started. Arty, Arty no name. Arty no name. Let's just finish him off. Take sword. Yeah, it's probably button whatever he's rocking. Give elixir. Man. Even saving the guy who stooping my wife. He's selfless, Arthur. I like Al Hat though, he's not the guy. Bring her. Bring her. A healing coma. <laughs> okay. That's true. Find the grail. Oh yeah, we must be close. Okay. All right, game's giving me a little peace of mind here. I like that. Let's do it. Yeah, we'll go give the apple to Aphrodite. I know about that. <laughs> that one mural. <laughs> butto, 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 butto. A very dark turn. Give apple. <laughs> That's true. Why are they making it so confusing? Give golden apple. Make complete. For this, I will tell you what must do to escape the catacombs. Okay. Be warned. This, every door within the catacombs is a possible trap. From this moment on. What? What is what? So there's so many damn riddles and quizzes in this game. I don't know that much about her. I already closed the guide. One word answer. Escape the catacombs. Sacred cup. Not find it. Oh. Whose company did Pygmalion disdain? Oh, and I gotta pull this back up. Hold on. Who's, uh... Oh man, this has all the... All the puzzle solutions. Well, I guess... I got the flower ones, at least. Uh... You got it? Actually, this doesn't seem to have the answers. Disdain. Company of women. Here we go. Whose company? Women. Oh, okay. There we go. Of what was the statue made that Pygmalion carved? Ivory. Heck yeah. 
Upon whom did Theseus call for vengeance? Upon... Vengeance. Uh... Then, who did Theseus Poseidon Poseidon Did I spell that right? Po Nope Pos Sidon Maybe I did spell that right, I don't know Posidon Ooh. To what people was the goddess well known it's Aphrodite. To what people hmm. Greeks? Thank you. Whom did Pygmalion worship? Aphrodite. 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 The font's different. That's why I'm only second guessing this. In the kingdom, good lord, what presents fertility and is sacred? Fertility. Dove? Sacred number to Aphrodite is six. Symbols associated with her representing fertility are the dove and the apple. Assuming it's the dove. Ah, oh, you suck! Did I do that right? Did I do that right? I don't... Oh, I got it right. All right. The sound made it sound like it was awful. West, east, south. So, Wes Eason. Wes Eason. Wes Eason. Wes Eason. Just keep saying Wes Eason. It's all going to make sense. Eason. West, east, south, east, south, north. Okay. Oh, yeah, the lodestone. Good call. Remember when I freaked out because I thought I got it wrong? All right, use lodestone. So that's north right now. So we need to go this way, presumably. That's north. Now we gotta go east. Which means this way. That's north. So now we gotta go south. North is up there. So we need to go east. That's north. We gotta go south. Last but not least, we gotta go north. So wherever this points, we are going. Or 
Nay, look! Along with the skeleton of a warrior. That guy figured it out. Or maybe not. Alright. Wow. This game. It's pushing my adventure gaming skills to the limits. Take skull. <laughs> Let a lion disturb any further. Press on forward. Take spear. Okay. All right. This game is also half mythology lesson. Yeah, I'm get. I'm getting that. light and fresh air. Famous temple of Aphrodite in Jerusalem. Perhaps this was it. The marble stones are ancient and weather-worn. The marble pillars are toppled. And an empty round pedestal in the middle may have once held a statue or altar. Walls without doors or windows have been built entirely around the temple right up to the very edge of the ruins. There you go. Thanks for the description, Merlin. we got, by the way, the green apple, which is just kind of generally good. Heals us, protects us. The medallion, the dove, and the lodestone. We've got stairs over there. Oh! Infidel, you must defeat me if you wish to win the grail. Here in the Temple of Aphrodite, you must match sword and, sword and shield, strength and skill. Until one of us is dead. Man, everyone wants to fight to the death. Oh, that's true. Thanks. Wear it or not, as you please. All right, I'll play your game. He's like, what? I haven't checked my soul in a while. It's getting up there. I don't think we're going to get full soul, though, considering we're about to get the grail, I feel like. I don't know why I'm keeping the dove, or where where am I keeping the dove? All right, do I want this apple before you fight this guy? Oh, I didn't wear the helmet yet. Throw that on. There we go. Cannot stop the poison. Right, 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 right. Wear helmet. Ba, 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 ba. Ow! A little bastard. Ba, ba, ba. Epic music. Stab him! Perry, Perry, stab. Hell yeah. Oh, that was good. Good guess. Oh! You are cut. Oh, wow. And then some. This guard needed an apple of his own. You've killed Cyrus in a fair fight. Well, I had a magic apple, but... Oh, his soul was a dove. <laughs> Helmet just... Okay. As helmets do, just like real life when you, the fight is finished. Shall I like, release the dove? There you go. Oh, that was a living dove. Starts banging that other guy's soul dove. Talk to dove? Ask about grail? 
Show me the grail dove. Can't move. Yo, Aphrodite, yeah. My statue in Holy of Holies were housed within, but only the bare pedestal remains. Last thing my worshippers would see as they left my temple was this leftward spiral on the threshold, a reminder of life turning ever onwards. I shall never return. Wow. Sweet. And the internet. And the uh, fantastic viewers. We got the cup, everyone. Man, I'm a little bummed that there wasn't... That was like the only thing in this game that didn't have a riddle or a challenge. A quiz is picking out the grail. So I could do the, the Harrison Ford. This is the cup of a carpenter. Count the places of the pillars until you reach my sacred number. Wasn't that... Was it six? Beneath that pillar you find what you seek. Whew. Is that guy in the alley back here? The guy that robbed me? It's just a head. We shall never know its strange story. Okay. I did forget the cup. That's true. <laughs> I think you forgot the cup. I was just looking around. Which, if we start from the spiral, and it was the sixth pillar. I don't know which way we're counting, though. One, is just the red ones? Two, three, four. Five, six. Push, pillar. Pause and think before your next choice. So really just push all of these and it'll work out. It's definitely six, I just don't know where I'm counting from. <laughs> Glad it doesn't matter. We find it. All right, moves. There we go. Just reach around. <laughs> Lots of other stuff. We got the grail, everybody. We did it. Oh, drink, drink. Arthur. All right, Arthur, you've been poisoned. <laughs> Maybe drink, what? Oh, nice. Heck yeah. You were dazed with the Grail's power, but you must recover yourself and find a way out of here. Camelot must be saved before... Son of a bitch, that guy! What? Uh. Oh, I'm gonna murder this guy. Guys been following me all over the damn Gaza. I don't know where we are. He's gonna die. Oh, it's an alley. You were so screwed. 19. By all the gods! Where did that come from? Ah. <laughs> That's what we get. That's why we pray. That's why we kneel, people. 
I don't know, should have just waited for this guy to get in. We could have stolen it ourselves from him. Have mercy! He's a pathetic creature. You must choose, Arthur. Take up the grail now in an act of mercy, or draw your sword and slay him. Well, as much as I want to slay him, he is giving it up willfully. Where's my money? You son of a bitch. <laughs> Arthur, this man is begging for mercy. You must deal with him. Nothing else matters. Kill it. Kill it with fire. <laughs> Spare man. But I saved. Take cup. Take grail. Wow. What an ass. Good thing we popped that on before we left. It's like the first thing we did. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, damn, Grail. That is cold. <laughs> and so he comes to the end he deserves. The Grail has judged you unworthy. Sweet. That's so much cooler than just running him through with Excalibur. Just walk away like a badass. Hell yeah. <sighs> Yo. Galahad, you're all right. No thanks to you, or Lancelot, or Gawain. You did come the furthest, though. And you're not banging my wife, so. Got a special place. At the round table with you. For you, Galahad. The Grail has brought you here, Arthur. Only one god may rule thy kingdom now. The altar of the Christ God awaits its vessel. Cast down your eyes. The radiance of the Grail is too great for any man to see. Don't look, Marion. It's gonna kill the Nazis. Yay! Behold, Mithra has been driven away, and the Grail is gone. <laughs> and Lancelot's penis shriveled up and fell off. <laughs> uh, he never got it up again. Heck yeah, we did it, everybody. The land returns to life. The lakes and rivers and wells fill once more with clean, fresh water. Your mule drinks freely and fully. Camelot is healed. Huzzah! You receive Guinevere's praise and adoration, as you have well earned. <laughs> Lancelot just got frozen by the Ice Queen. He did nothing. I'm the hero. And so you have won through purity and spirit of heart. Though skill and strength, through skill and strength, no praise is too great. Except you did not achieve a perfect score. You've got no soul, man. No soul. With peace and prosperity returned to your kingdom, you have the time to rest and enjoy the land you have saved. If only that were the case, Merlin. We have plenty other games to beat here on Let's Play with Brigands. But thank you. Please subscribe if you haven't, everyone. <laughs> we do these all... <laughs> we're like this every week. But though your land is healed, your heart is not. Perhaps it never shall be. Oh, we're watching over there while she's getting it on with Crosby, Stills, and or Nash. It's like, oh man, I went to all the trouble and he still gets the babe. And the grail melts him. I already made a joke about his penis. Is this just how it ends? How fantastic is that? Just on a sad shot of Arthur. <laughs> Being cuckolded in his own kingdom. What the hell? <laughs> oh, God. 
one of the best endings I think we've ever had on Let's Play with Brigands. <laughs> you saved the day. And your queen is still cheating on you right in front of you. My god. It's got the luck of Larry Laffer. Does King Arthur. She just l left Lancelot there to rot. Or freeze, or chill, or whatever. What have you. Good game, though. Camelot combat system. You mean tapping spacebar at just the right time? <laughs> yes, someone did have to program that in. There it is! Oh, man! We came very close with the soul points. I'm not sure why I didn't get the skill points. Or the wisdom points. Everyone kept saying I have great wisdom and skill and all that jazz. But uh, you know what? I'm happy with that. Not too shabby. Maybe if I had a perfect score, Gwen would uh, stop uh, going behind my Not even behind my back. It was right in front. But I digress. Thanks for watching, everybody. And we'll see you next time for more fun, fun times right here on Let's Play with the Brigands. Hope to see you then. Yeah, yeah.